So let's segue to Jonathan. So you're you're an agency guy now, right? And six months in, to six the day. months in as an agency guy. Um, so, but you're not on the agency sort of side of it on the previous panel. So you're here for a different reason because you kind of have more of a uh, 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 a new set of eyes or a fresh set of eyes to more of the sell side and the tech side of this proposition. So I'll ask the same question of you. Where do you sort of see both six months in as, and more broadly, the value proposition of television and or video uh, evolving to? Is it, is it still kind of in that sort of Nielsen or re-aggregated Nielsen kind of world or is there other value to be had there and potentially how? Well, I, I think we're at an important transitional moment from the world of sort of content-based advertising, which is TV's legacy, to an audience-based television world. And if I think about the little progress bar, it's maybe three or five or seven percent of the way there. And back when I started doing this now, 14 years ago or whatever, the obstacle was availability of data, and in particular, the combination of you know what I would call small data, the data that lets um, us understand how individuals are using a bunch of different media devices across a day with what's now big data, which is the device level data that's giving us very precise um, mounds of data that's hard to connect together because you can't connect it across the different platforms. And I think we're at least now on a path to rationalizing the data piece of it. Um, the supply side plumbing is still, as we heard before, kind of what's missing to get us all the way to the IP-based, you know, highly targetable, very audience-based future on television. And, and what the problem of today is, is figuring out, you know, what's the food pyramid of TV circa, you know, 2016, 2017, where I can have a balanced diet of my you know, addressable is a sometimes food and still deal with the broad reach for, you know, our clients like, you know, McDonald's wants to say something to everybody. Um, but what they say to different groups is something that advanced television can help them start to get to in a more and more focused way. Do you think, and this is not necessarily a, a, a question about Omnicom or, or anybody in particular, but do you think uh, traditional media agencies um, uh, with their historic expertise in brand-based marketing and broad-based television expectations are capable of moving fast enough or evolving fast enough with the other part of this, right, which you just described, right, that sometimes food of addressability, right, that's a much more sophisticated, uh, data-driven, uh, almost direct marketing-like activity, right? which historically, both in the television industry as sellers and as the media buyers of major television, that's not in their historic wheelhouse, right? So what you're saying is, what we're talking about here is, is actually pushing these newer forms of, of functional activity into the mix where not everybody necessarily wants to learn those, do those? Um, you know, I mean, I think Omnicom is an as an organization is learning how to do that and certainly the pitch that we've been putting out there that won us both the Procter and Gamble and the AT&T business at Hearts and Science is that data is a key ingredient of the full stack all the way from how do you inform building the right creative plan uh, and the right messages all the way through to how do you target and how do you measure it and I think that also was part of the uh, you know, winning the McDonald's business by combining um, our creative side with our media side. So um, it, it's a big ship to turn and it's hard to get everybody heading in that direction, but I feel like we've got all the right pieces somewhere under a roof that flies an Omnicom flag out front. And the challenge really has been trying to get all the right people to talk to each other and to work together. And so. You know, on one end of the spectrum, we said, we're just going to create a new media agency that that's what they do, and that's what we're doing with Hearts and Science. And on the other hand, I'm trying to help them figure out how do we build a audience-based television platform that we can roll out as part of the same tool set that we use for our, you know, broad-based, upfront, brand-oriented planning and buying. 